Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, a first year medical resident. Today I'm going to let you in on the secret language of doctors and know the medical words for actually normal English words. Medicine is actually like a different language at times, and you have all these fancy words that mean the same thing as something that we already know in English. And as a medical student, I felt like I was constantly trying to learn words and look them up on Google and translate my normal vocabulary into fancy medical terms so that I sounded smart or sounded like a doctor. The weird part was today in clinic, I actually had the opposite experience. I was thinking in these medical terms, and I felt like I had to translate them back into regular English to explain it to patients. As a medical student, if you told me that, I couldn't imagine that so soon I would be thinking in this medical language. So that can be overwhelming for medical students, but it can also be overwhelming for patients when they don't really know what doctors are saying. So it's our job to be able to express ourselves properly and not actually use all this medical jargon. So here are some common ones and see if you already know some of the translations back and forth. That noise joints make when they crack? Crepitus. I always think that sounds like creaking, like crepitus. Runny nose. Rhinorrhea. <laughs> Actually, the first time I heard that, I kind of thought it sounded like diarrhea for your nose, and that's how I remembered it as a med student. <laughs> Listening with a stethoscope. Auscultation. Growling stomach, borborygmy. Kind of sounds like bur, 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 of a stomach, like bor 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 borborygmy. <laughs> Goosebumps, horipilation. That doesn't sound so good. When something bursts, perforation. If something breaks, fracture. Rapid alternating movements, diadochokinesia. We actually do this. We get patients to do this fast alternating movement and it's to test part of the back of their brain, right back here in the cerebellum. Loss of appetite, you just don't want to eat. Anorexia, which is different than anorexia nervosa, which is an eating disorder, but just anorexia means that you don't have any hunger. So if you're feeling really, really sick and you don't want to eat, that's anorexia. Walking, ambulating. I always thought this was a weird one because it sounds like ambulance, and when you're in an ambulance, you're not walking. Anyway, ambulating is walking. Dry mouth. Xerostomia. Dry skin. Xerosis. Fainting. Syncope. And that feeling when you think you're about to pass out and everything's sort of graying out and you want to sit down, that's called presyncope. When the whole room is spinning. Vertigo. When someone's super, 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 super skinny, cachectic. When you see that, it's just never a good sign. When you don't really know what caused it. Idiopathic. Most frustrating one because we don't know what causes it. We know it happens, but we don't know why. Brain freeze. Sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. <laughs> to be honest, I just looked that one up. I didn't even know that one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments below if you've had any experiences where doctors have said strange, weird words, or if you've heard things in TV shows. I'm always curious to hear them. I'll chat you guys later.